Uh, welcome back to, to Sky Sports News. We're going to take a, a bit of a different tack now um, and talk about what's happening in, in Turkey and Syria, where at least 11,000 people have died after a massive earthquake and its aftershocks struck overnight on Sunday. Well, the Hull City owner, Ajahn Ilikali, is in Istanbul. We can speak live to him now. Um, Mr Ilikali, thank you so much for, uh, for spending time with us here on, on Sky Sports News to talk about this. But, but first of all, um, how are you and how are your family? I, I, I trust that they're also safe and well? Yes, uh, thank you, David. Uh, we are just uh, passing through the hardest time uh, for my country, maybe in the history. So I can say that we are extremely sad and, uh, about my family. We don't have any uh, loss. Uh, they are all safe. Uh, but of course, uh, I'm just suffering for my country. I can absolutely imagine, um, you know, just seeing some of the pictures of, of the utter devastation that has been caused by the earthquake and its aftershocks. Um, you know, some buildings utterly un unrecognisable to, to what they were before. And of course, so many people affected by this. Uh, and you're providing aid for those affected. Just tell us how you've been helping. Actually, of course, you know, in that kind of uh, times, uh, all the countries you know, come together and try to support the affected people. So, uh, I mean, uh, I will not uh, try to just uh, talk about my uh, help too much because uh, who has uh, that power can use that power. You know, everybody is not the same. Uh, as a person, I just uh, I'm just sending hundred trucks, uh, just uh, fresh water. Uh, because they don't have fresh water, you know. At the moment, there's a big crisis of water in the area. So uh, I, I'm just thinking, uh, sending 100 big trucks for the area. And also, uh, I'm trying to just uh, supply uh, that there's modular houses uh, sending there. And I'm just uh, make the interior supplies of these houses so that uh, my people can be uh, safe after this big shock. And uh, now what I'm trying to do is at the moment, and very probably I'm going to do it uh, in the following days, just, uh, you know, I have the number one channel in Turkey at the moment, and uh, we're going to try to organize a special night uh, on my channel to support the people who are affected. Uh, and uh, I think in that night, it's going to be the historical night uh, that all Turkey will come together Maybe we are planning to do all the channels together. I'm just trying to organize it and we're just making meetings every day, uh, trying to organize more and more support. So the best way in that kind of things, you know, everybody is united, yes. Everybody wants to help, yes. But just organizing is something else. No, my job is now, uh, of course, to support. But uh, even if I support uh, as much as I can, uh, when you consider the area, how can I be just helping all the people? So the best way is just to make the organization. Uh, and I, we did it in five years ago before uh, because of an earthquake. And we just made more than 30 million pounds in uh, three hours, uh, eight for the area. So now what I'm trying to plan is just make a, a big night and be the host and just motivate people and just uh, support these people who are affected. Yeah, a, a, a night of unity, um, a, a night where people can come together and try and provide a, a little bit of light, I suppose, in what is such a, a difficult and dark situation. Um, you, you'll know that, you know, football has a great power in situations like this as well. You can speak to your own fans, you can speak to fans around the world, but what has been the response from the Hull City fans to this in particular? Of course, there is no doubt that uh, we are one family uh, with the fans of Hull City. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, I know that uh, they feel my approach and I feel their approach too. So we were uh, together. Uh, they, uh, the passing days made us more united with the fans. So uh, I can clearly say that we are one family. I feel it whenever I go to Hull. They just hug me on the streets. They just uh, show their appreciation uh, for me. So uh, I feel like they are my family. So uh, when my family is affected, uh, what can my family do? Of course, they are doing the same approach and uh, they are just sharing their uh, pain. And uh, I saw, I feel uh, in life for me, that is something very important. Sometimes you say something, sometimes you say something from the bottom of your heart. 
So uh, what I feel from all the whole city fans at the moment, also my players and my coach, of course, uh, I can say that uh, they are showing their pain from the bottom of their hearts and they made me feel it. Uh, I really appreciate it. I mean, we've all been moved by, by this situation that we've seen in, in, in Turkey and Syria. Um, if you wanted to send a message right now on Sky Sports News, Mr. Likali, what, what can people do to help you and help those affected? Actually, uh, thank you very much uh, for the words you say, but uh, there is something I felt in the last two days in Turkey and uh, I really can't understand. And sometimes I feel the same in England too. Uh, you know, uh, we have so many problems in life and uh, life is enough hard for all of us. Apart from that, we have the negative energy between each other uh, in the football world too. You know, uh, sometimes the fans are having so much trouble between each other and there's a big tension. Uh, maybe England has overcome uh, this kind of hooliganism that happened 30, 40 years ago. Now it's a better situation. But at the end of the day, what I saw in Turkey at the moment, uh, all the clubs gathering together, uh, all the tension becoming zero, uh, all the politics coming together. So I always, uh, I'm sometimes, of course, I'm happy about it that uh, they are coming together. But I ask the question, do we need a disaster? Do we need such a bad thing to happen? Uh, to be just gentle, to be so uh, united. So I think uh, if you ask me, I really appreciate their uh, uh, way of approach to my country and myself from, from the England side. I always say England is a different country because you really uh, just welcoming the foreigners different than most of Europe. So uh, the, the way the foreigners are inside England is always more happy than most of Europe. So I felt the same thing from the first minute from the British people. But if you ask me, uh, maybe uh, in life, uh, this kind of uh, so bad, such a bad thing can change the mind of some people that we really don't need uh, sorrow uh, to just to be united. So uh, you, this life is a life going to pass like a dream. So why to just suffer of this negative energy in most of the uh, places like football? So I would rather uh, ask them to just think about more about this kind of things and uh, maybe uh, pain sometimes brings uh, good things for the people. For you, but we really do appreciate you coming on, on Sky Sports News to tell us all the good work that you're doing and to give us an update on the situation. Thank you so much. Thank you.